From rural America's fields to the world's farmlands, the story of Ford Tractors is one of innovation, perseverance, and success. Join us as we delve into the fascinating history of one of the agricultural industry's most recognizable brands and learn how Ford Tractors helped to revolutionize farming as we know it today. Today's video is about the history of Ford Tractors. Ford Tractors have been an important part of the farming industry for over a century, helping farmers worldwide work more efficiently and productively. We'll begin with the early years of Ford Tractors when Henry Ford had a vision of making tractors affordable to small farmers. We'll look at how he went about realizing his vision as well as the impact Ford's and tractors had on the farming industry. We'll then move on to the Golden Jubilee era when Ford introduced the Ford NAA Golden Jubilee tractor to commemorate 50 years of tractor production. We'll look at the features and improvements of this iconic tractor as well as its significance in Ford's history. Following that, we'll look at the post Golden Jubilee era when Ford continued to innovate and improve its tractor lineup by introducing the 600 and 800 series tractors. We'll look at the upgrades and innovations that made these tractors powerful and efficient, as well as Ford's expansion into Europe and other parts of the world. Moving forward, we'll talk about the New Holland acquisition and beyond, which occurred in 1991 when New Holland purchased Ford's tractor division. We'll look at the birth of the Ford New Holland brand and the launch of the Genesis tractor series. We'll also look into the merger with Fiat and the establishment of the CNH industrial brand. Finally, we'll also look at Ford tractors' legacy and their impact in the farming industry and beyond. We'll hear from vintage Ford tractor collectors and enthusiasts about the enduring popularity and significance of these iconic machines. Let's kick off our journey. Henry Ford had a vision in the early 20th century of making tractors affordable to small farmers. Tractors, he believed, would be critical to increasing farm productivity and allowing farmers to grow more crops with less effort. Ford began experimenting with tractor designs in 1907 and the Fordson Tractor Company was founded in 1917. The first Fordson tractors were manufactured in 1917 and were an instant success. These tractors were created to be inexpensive and simple to operate, making them ideal for small farmers. The Fordson Model F introduced in 1918 was especially popular. This tractor had a four-cylinder engine and was lightweight, making it easy to maneuver. Ford continued to innovate and improve its tractor designs in the 1920s. The Fordson Model N debuted in 1929 and it marked a significant improvement over previous models. It had stronger engines, improved steering and a three-speed transmission. The Model N was also the first Fordson tractor to come standard with a starter and generator. Fordson tractors has a significant impact on the farming industry at the time. They were inexpensive, dependable and simple to maintain, making them ideal for small farmers. As a result, Fordson tractors became the best-selling tractors in the United States and they were also exported to other countries. Ford introduced two new tractor models in the 1930s, the Model F and the Model M. The Model F tractor was designed to be a lightweight and affordable tractor for small farmers, whereas the Model N tractor was designed to be more powerful for larger farms. These tractors were also intended to be versatile, capable of performing a variety of tasks such as plowing, planting and harvesting. Ford had established itself as a leading tractor manufacturer by the end of the 1930s. Its innovative designs and low prices made tractors affordable to small farmers, resulting in a significant impact in the farming industry. Ford would continue to innovate and improve its tractor designs in the years to come, cementing its place in agricultural history. Ford introduced the Ford NAA Golden Jubilee tractor in 1953 to commemorate 50 years of tractor production. With a sleek new design and many innovative features, the NAA marked a significant departure from previous models. The NAA's three-point hitch system was one of the most notable features, revolutionizing tractor design and becoming a standard feature on tractors worldwide. The three-point hitch allowed implements to be attached more easily and securely, allowing farmers to switch between tasks more easily and efficiently. The NAA was also created to be more comfortable and user-friendly than previous models. They featured a new live hydraulic system that allowed the operator to control implements from the tractor seat, as well as a new power steering system that improved steering. Another notable advancement was the Selecto speed transmission, which allowed the operator to select from 10 different speeds without having to stop the tractor. This significantly improved our previous models, which required the operator to stop the tractor and shift gears manually. The NAA was an instant success, selling more than 128,000 units in its first year of production. It was praised for its innovative design and features, and it became a symbol of the Golden Jubilee period. During the Golden Jubilee period, Ford introduced several new tractor models in addition to the NAA. In 1954, Ford introduced the 600 and 800 series tractors, which featured more powerful engines and improved hydraulics. These tractors were created to be more versatile and capable of performing a broader range of tasks than previous models. 
Ford's tractor division experienced significant innovation and growth during the Golden Jubilee era. The introduction of the NAA and other new models cemented Ford's position as a leading tractor manufacturer and set the stage for future tractor designs and technology innovations. Collectors and enthusiasts still regard the NAA and other Golden Jubilee tractors as iconic symbols of the golden age of tractor production. Ford continued to innovate and improve its tractor designs following the success of the Golden Jubilee tractors throughout the 1960s and 1970s. Ford introduced several new models during this time that were intended to be more powerful, efficient and versatile than previous models. The introduction of diesel engines in Ford tractors was one of the most significant innovations during this time. Diesel engines outperformed gasoline engines in several ways, including increased fuel efficiency, durability and torque. Ford introduced the 2000 and 4000 series tractors in 1964 with diesel engines as standard equipment. Another significant advancement during this period was the inclusion of the Selecto Speed transmission in more models. Previously only available on certain models, the Selecto Speed became more widely available in the 1960s and 1970s. This transmission was popular on Ford tractors because of its smooth shifting and ease of use. Ford also increased the comfort and convenience features of its tractors. Ford introduced the Americanopy cab in 1965, which provided improved weather protection and increased operator comfort. Ford introduced the Comfort King series of tractors in the 1970s, which featured larger cabs and more comfortable seating. Ford was also facing increased competition from other tractor manufacturers such as John Deere and International Harvester during this period. Ford continued to innovate and improve its tractor designs to remain competitive. Ford introduced the 1000 series of tractors in the 1970s, designed to be more compact and versatile than previous models. In Europe, where they were used on small farms and vineyards, these tractors were especially popular. Ford's tractor division ran into financial difficulties in the 1980s, forcing the company to restructure and reduce its product offerings. Ford sold its tractor division to the Fiat Group, which later became CNH Global in 1986. Despite these difficulties, Ford's tractor division had a significant impact in the farming industry, helping to revolutionize tractor design and technology. Ford's tractor division experienced significant innovation and growth following the Golden Jubilee. Ford tractors became more efficient and easier to operate than ever before thanks to the introduction of diesel engines, improved transmissions and more comfortable cabs. Although Ford's tractor division is no longer a part of the company, the many innovative and iconic tractors that it produced live on. Ford sold its tractor division to the Fiat Group in 1991, which later merged with New Holland to form CNH Global. With the acquisition, Ford tractors entered a new chapter in their history as the brand became part of a larger global organization with a broader range of agricultural equipment offerings. Ford tractors were rebranded as New Holland tractors under the new ownership, but many of the design elements and innovations developed by Ford continued to innovate and improve its tractor designs, incorporating new technology and features to make them even more efficient and productive. Ford tractors have a history of innovation, perseverance and success. Ford tractors have long been a driving force in the agriculture industry's growth and development, assisting farmers all over the world in improving efficiency, increasing productivity and lowering costs. They were among the first to be mass-produced and their low-cost and dependability made them affordable to small farmers throughout the US and beyond. The introduction of the Fordson tractor in 1917 marked a watershed moment in agricultural history as farmers were able to achieve higher yields with less labor. The brand's commitment to developing new technologies and improving efficiency has helped to transform the way farmers around the world work and has contributed to the agricultural industry's growth and development. Today, as we face new challenges and opportunities, the legacy of Ford tractors continues to inspire us all. Thank you for tuning in and we'll see you again soon. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this.